Tobacco tax trouble looms over Indian territory once again. Good evening, I'm Leah Lando. Federal Judge Richard Arcara has reserved decision on a Seneca Nation bid to block the collection of New York taxes on reservation cigarettes sold to non-Indians. News 4's Tricia Cruz reports the tax tussle is likely to go from the courts to the streets unless the judge stands in the way before September 1st. You don't want to talk about your thoughts your about the outcome? I'm sorry, talk Nothing? to Mr. Logan. But you were in there. I know. Just you a few told, things. You heard the arguments. Inside a federal courtroom, State Attorney Robert Siegfried argued that the state wants to collect what it calls legitimate cigarette taxes from non Indians, that doing so does not place an undue burden on the Senecas, and that by law, the government is only required to provide Indians with an adequate supply. The, the state tried to make a very clever argument that somehow they could dump 168,000 cigarettes at our doorstep, and somehow that's enough. But it's not true. The federal law requires that the state not interfere with the ability of reservation Indians to obtain taxes and product. The state plans to begin collecting sales tax on cigarettes sold to non-Indian customers on Wednesday. The state uh, continues to uh, spread this propaganda uh, in their view of saying what we're doing is illegal and it's not. Our government regulates our businesses and regulates our economy. The Senecas were hoping to walk out of federal court with a temporary restraining order against the plan. They call it an invasion of their sovereign rights and a danger to their economy. New York State is not going to collect one penny of tax from the Seneca Nation. We're going to fight this. We're going to find ways to succeed. Federal Judge Richard Arcara is holding off on making a decision until the state resolves the legality issue on Monday. The federal case is over the Seneca's sovereign status. We're going to fight hard in both forums um, and do what we can to push up what we perceive to be illegality on two different fronts. In court, the Seneca's attorney argued that the state has an obligation to collect taxes from its consumers and that it has not followed its own law. So both sides will be back in court next week. Live, Trisha Cruz for the 10 o'clock news.